No farther, mortal. You are not one of our kind, and the seat of Sir Sacro will never be occupied by one soul. No doubt you speak of Diluvia in Mitchell's school. I told her to avoid your settlement, to avoid Odoroth altogether. She never listened to my warnings. I will chastise her appropriately upon her return. It is a loss, yes, but not the first unexpected event in this telling. What happened? Attacked, you say? Your kind is too timid to even speak to us, and now you're trying to kill us. I do not understand it. However, your honesty is appreciated. Tell the people of Gorhart that they have nothing to fear from us. We mean them no ill will, as long as they leave the forest undisturbed as they found it. Listen, all of you. As you, you clearly want? heard, a rare vacancy has occurred in the House of Balance. There has been an event, a great twist in the narrative of our kind. Sir Sagril has fallen. Sagril, slayer of Ozigan, defender of the crown of Haxi, has been defeated. A death in the House of Ballads gives an opportunity, a chance for one hero to join the ranks of the greatest champions in fay-telling. Olaine, Kreth, Wenson the Bold. Do you, do any of you, have the courage to pass the confirmation? If you do, your Fantastic. adventures will be sung to the heavens for all eternity. This does not concern you, mortal. You would not, could not, understand. One of our most beloved heroes has fallen. Sir Sagril's passing leaves his legend in peril. A seat in the House of Ballads cannot remain empty, lest the great stories end. And that must never happen. You are bold. But that is not how tales are told in the House of Ballads. Only a worthy Fey hero may finish his quest, complete his story. However, these are strange times. Magic weaves itself in new patterns and change. It is the one thing with which we Fey have no experience. If you so choose, join the other pledges. You too may attempt to defeat the Grave Thresh, recover Sagril's ring, and take his seat in the House of Ballads. The lair of the Thresh is east of this great house, in the hollow of Gorgoth. In the evenings after dark, you can hear its disturbed slumber. The cries are unsettling. Go now. This is no place for you. And make the song your own. A mortal here?
Let me take a look at you. Oh, very fair you are. Too fair for the House of Balance, that is certain. I tend to enjoy the company of mortals. So fleshy. I'm Ilova, instructor in the persuasive arts. That includes seduction, but you probably guessed that. Come back soon. <laughs> Greetings. I am Gleonor, also known as the Antiquarian. What does a child of dust require of me? Sing your song. Hello. Welcome to the Summer Sanctuary, where the seeds of knowledge are sown and nurtured. I see you are a stranger and a mortal. I am green, and I possess the healer's warmth. You have need of my services? Have you been injured in your mortal war? Farewell. Sagral was a clever rogue of great and merry cheer. Oh, come and listen to the song of he who had no fear. 
of he who we hold dear. Brash dustling, you have no role in fay telling. This story belongs to one of us, not some whelp fresh from the cradle. First that strange maiden, now this. What is it you want here in Gorgoath? Alas, Sagrals is a twisted tale, and we could use every available hand. You may stay, but the seat will never be filled by a mortal. Of that I am certain. We were too late to catch the thresh as it fed. Now the beast slumbers guarded by the vines and weeds of Gorgoath. But all is not lost. If we can destroy the roots before they take hold, we can rouse the beast. Come, I'll keep the thresh occupied while you seek out the heart vines. Keep your eyes open. Give up until it's done. 